So I'm here with Father George Coyne, who just gave a talk at TEDx YYC. How did it feel to give you? Oh, I felt that. You know, the audience. I really felt that audience really kind of gives you good vibes. Yeah. I yeah. can tell they were. You know, though I couldn't see them. <laughs> That's the tricky part, yeah, right? right? You're just looking out into yeah. the sea of black. Yeah, they yeah. even laughed at a few of my crude jokes. <laughs> Funny. We were we were laughing in here too, you know. Right? Oh yeah, 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 it was good. It was good. I didn't know AJ know I was gonna say that I'm oh. at the ball and chain, but that's what I felt like until oh, I went home. You stay right here. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, you know, it's part of the surprise of the whole event, right? Uh, it does change. A little spontaneity. Exactly. Yeah. That's good. It's yeah. good. Yeah. So what was the the big idea that you wanted to share with the audience today? Why my was the final question, which I kind of introduced at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Why, I don't understand from my own personal career, why there is this perduring idea that there's a conflict between science and religion. And the conflict seems the more, you know, we get, the more science we get, you know, things like dark energy, dark matter in the universe, the um, sum of the religious tradition, you know, say the separation is even larger. I mean, I was once asked on this, I didn't bring it up this evening. Do I? And I've had a lot of interviews with what I call atheists or agnostics, you know? And I find them very reasonable people. They're not, they're just not religious believers, but they're very reasonable in this discussion. So someone asked me, would you prefer to have a conversation with uh, atheist or agnostic or an evangelical Christian? I'll take the first anyway. <laughs> now, how come? What, well, what do you find? You know, what what did you see about that? Okay, I begin yeah. a discussion. Okay, and this person says to me, okay, but God created the universe in six days and he worked so hard he had to rest on the seventh. Is, isn't that true? I said, yes, that's true. But you just told me the universe is 13.8 billion years old. Uh, and that. Um, God made light on the first day, and that he made Adam and Eve and the human race on the fifth day in, in Genesis. How can it be that, you know, what you say about the universe, you know, each of us came to be through this long evolutionary process, they're in conflict. So they're only in conflict if you take the story in the Bible as science. It's not, but it's true. Science is not the only truth, the method, the way to truth that we have. It's one of the ways. It's not the only way. And unfortunately, there is what I call a scientism in the, you know, among scientists. That the only way you really get really certain results is through science. That's not true. The Genesis story is telling a beautiful truth, namely that God made everything, okay, which does not conflict with science, but that we are special to God. So they had to, the Jewish people of old, put on a stage show. That's what it really is. I think it's a good explanation of at least the first book of Genesis. Light on the first day, because to set the stage you need light. And then some dust, some dust, and some water, and some plants, and some crawling things, and some stand-up creatures. Surprise, right? Yeah, That's right. I like that. But where, if you're a scientist, you know, and you try and understand that scientifically, well, the question immediately comes up, where the hell did the light come from on yeah. the first day? <laughs> right, so you have because to have that deeper light, thinking. Right, all light mm -hmm. comes from stars and the sun, mm -hmm. which is a star. So it's, it's a question of the kind of, the method you're using to come to further understanding. And faith is beyond rational reasoning, but it doesn't contradict. And that's what I was. So to get back to your question, I was trying. Why does this perdure? Well, you know, I don't think I'm crazy. You know, other people may, but you know, in my own life, I find not only that are are they not in conflict, but if you are a religious believer, your science can reinforce your faith. To me, I, that's, and I think to many, many other people. But the problem in, in, in North American society, as I see it, in South America to a certain great extent now too, is this continuous idea within society 
the scientists are saying one thing, but the religious believers believe this. And that tug of war, right? That are the two shaman. Definitely. Well, I, if you'd like to hear more of Father George Crane's talk and hear his full explanations, please stay tuned in to www.tedxyyc.com and look forward to hearing his full talk. Thank you so much for being here. Kate, it's a pleasure.